R.J. and I were asleep on February 13, 2008, and the phone rang, and the alarm company told us that there was a fire at our, our business. And at first I didn't believe it, because they call quite often, the alarm goes off, and um, we usually think, well, it's, it's a false alarm, because sometimes it just goes off because of a loud sound or something. But I thought I'd better get up, get up and go and see what the story is, just in case. And the more I roused myself, the more I, I started hearing sirens, because we lived pretty close to the studio. So I said, Argy, you've got to get up. It's, I think this is for real. So we walked up the street, and the closer we got, the more we saw the, um, the flashing lights and the sirens, and there were you know, a bunch of fire trucks and about 20 or 30 firemen. And when we got to the studio, we saw that there was smoke and fire, and it was pretty serious. It was a cold and rainy and icy night, and we stayed up all night until the firemen put out the fire, and then went down there to see like what the damage was. realized I was an artist when I was, after I got out of high school and I went to school for business administration and I saw all the kids across the street at the School of Visual Arts um, and I went in there to see what they were doing. I kind of knew that that's what I wanted to do. installation and organizing all this junk and um, emotional support. <laughs> Calming him down at installation. Yeah. Alright. 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 taking things apart and putting them back together, that was more or less what I did. And that's what I still do, I still put things together. So I always was collecting stuff. I was also making films and doing lighting effects for the theater, so I was already in the world of light. But I try to relate light to objects. So, I need a I like putting things together. I like having exhibits. I like having parties, inviting people to come and celebrate my creation. I like every aspect of it. It's like a science that you're always coming up at with like new ways to do anything or like creating new things. I learned to not get attached to my things because I know that if I get attached to things then I'll tend to not make other stuff. If I let go of things then I usually make more. So, In fact I usually start off with all my things that I choose to make my work out of. I usually pick the thing I don't want to give up and I use that to start my pieces. So then everything else kind of has to come up to that level. And then I always find more, more things. Pretty much everything was destroyed in the basement. And then the smoke came upstairs into the gallery and pretty much everything got covered by soot and smoke. Right now we're just finishing cleaning out the basement and taking shelves and all the parts that go to my work were down there. So 
we're taking it up to a warehouse that we rented and we're going to clean everything there. We'll probably have to be there maybe three or four months to at least to uh, just get started and set up our um, office and then this building that we just bought is only two doors away from the building we rented and we'll probably move in there. Just follow, follow your passion and trust that it will show you what, show you the way. I think art really shows you the way if you believe in it. The world sort of doesn't really agree. Every, you know, pretty much everybody's doing something like a job job. Um, and art is something that you have to create on your own. So you really have to believe in it. And I think the advice I would give is to believe in your passion, believe in your vision, um, believe that there is a way to make it happen in the world and be successful.